Hey, what's up, Amp? Hopefully you guys are doing well. You're finding things to keep yourselves busy. Um, I miss you guys a lot, and I'm excited for us to get back to normal Amp. Um, speaking of which, Amp stands for Acquire More Passion, and our mission here at Amp is to help people know Jesus, grow in the relationship with Jesus, and go um, for Jesus. And you guys, in these times right now, things that are going on, um, I know that there's a lot of inconvenience um, and I know that things are hard um, right now. And I don't want to downplay that by any means. Um, but with that being said, I also know that we have a lot of extra time right now that we can be um, spending in different ways. And so some things I want to encourage you with or kind of um, challenge you with, if you will, is how are you spending all of your free time right now? Um, are you growing in your relationship with the Lord? And um, I would be encouraging you right now, making sure that you're getting into your Bibles, making sure you're journaling, making sure you're praying, um, start devotionals on the YouVersion app. Um, do all those things that will help your relationship grow. And then the next thing I would ask is, how, how are you going right now? Um, are you being a light in someone else's life? Uh, we know that Plato once said, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. And Right now, I think you would all agree that well, we're dealing with some pretty hard battles um, in life right now. And so my question is, is how are we being a light in somebody else's life? And so I just want to encourage you with that. Be a light in somebody else's life and encourage other people around you. Um, be the difference. Be the change. Uh, make things happen. And um, I want to let you know about some things coming up in our youth group. So um, the first big one is during spring break, spring spring break, right? During spring break, we're going to be starting a new series. We're going to be reading through the book of First Peter, and um, I'm excited to dive into that. I know there's some really great things that are going to come from that, but if that doesn't start till spring break, that means we've got a couple of weeks before that starts. And so um, tonight, I'm going to be talking a little bit about a topic that we've covered in the past, and um, I think it's a big one for us right now, and it's the content that we consume is the content um, that we create. And so we're going to talk about what content are we consuming right now while we have all this extra time at home. And um, next week, Jamie is going to be bringing the word on um, how to deal with loneliness. And so I'm excited to hear what she has to say about that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's dive right into um, our topic for today. So um, scrolling on my computer, not good at this whole multitasking thing still yet. <laughs> um, one question I have for you is, have you ever noticed how um, the people around us, the music we listen to, the shows that we watch, that those things influence the way that we think, the way that we talk, the way that we act, the way that we dress. Um, I got an example here for you. I, I was able to borrow it from my daughter. Scrunchies, come on, come on, what? Um, anyways, um, all of these things are fine. Allowing people to influence us, allowing um, TV shows, allowing music, those things to influence us. Those things are, those things are fine as long as they're godly things. Um, but my question for you is in today's world, are we really allowing godly things to influence us? And so I want to read, um, some scripture out of Luke, uh, 6, 43 through 45. So here it goes. It says, no good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. The content we consume is the content we create. I want to reread that last part. Um, for us because it's kind of a gut check. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So what we hear, what we see, what we take in ultimately makes its way into our hearts. And the mouth speaks what's in our heart. So in today's time, especially with the extra screen time that we've been getting, I feel like I need to ask God for some help in four major areas of my life. And maybe you guys feel like you need to ask God for help in these areas as well. The first one is, I feel like I need to ask God um, for help in focusing my eyes. 
and letting me see what I'm supposed to see. Um, so in Proverbs 4, 25, it says, keep your eyes focused on what is right and look straight ahead to what is good. And so my prayer to the Lord is, Lord, allow me to see the things that are holy. Allow me to see the things that are right. Uh, allow me to see the things that are good. And all of the things that are outside of those realms, um, Lord, um, keep me from seeing those things. Um, and so I would... I would guess that some of you are in that same place, that, that you need to pray to God to help you not see those things. Um, the second thing I pray to God about is um, to focus my ears. Um, I, I say this one with like, let me hear with sensitivity. In John 8, 47, it says, whoever is of God hears the words of God. And so I just encourage you, listen to what God has to say, um, hear the things that he wants you to hear and block out and tune out all of the noise um, of the world around us today. The third thing that I ask for God help with is to focus my mind. Um, I, I ask God to let me think about the things that he would have me to think about. Um, let me think about things um, that he would like. And so in Colossians 3, 2, it says, set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. Just because I'm a Christian, just because you're a Christian, doesn't mean that we're always going to think right. It doesn't mean that we're always going to have appropriate thoughts going through our minds. And so I'm going to encourage you, place your minds on, on the things above. Look to Jesus as your all in all. And so constantly throughout the day, as things are being filtered in, is this what Jesus would want for me? Is this what my mind needs to be filled with right now? Uh, I once heard Chad Veach, he's kind of a famous pastor. He said that God and Satan are in a battle over your mind all the time. And so I just constantly think, who am I going to allow to win this battle? And to be honest with you guys, there are some days that Satan wins and I, you know, I, I pray for forgiveness for those days. I pray for healing for those days. Um, but I want God to win. I want him to be victorious every time. So setting my mind towards the things that he would want for me in my life. Number four is I ask God to help focus my heart and to heal the brokenness that I have. And we're going to look at Matthew 13. Uh, this is verse 15. And it says, for this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and I would heal them. And you guys, a fear that I have is that I would allow my heart to become calloused. Or we heard Pastor Mark mention this a few weeks ago, become hard. I don't want that for my life. And so I'm going to constantly be praying, Lord, please um, heal my brokenness, allow my heart to be soft, allow me to um, allow the content that, that is around me to be heavenly, good, rich, wholesome content that fills my heart in the right, um, the right way. So why do I say pray these things? Because I want the content of today's world to be unthinkable in my mind and in my heart. Instead, I want to be consuming content that is holy, that is right, that is just, that is what God has for me, that he wants for me. And so you guys, maybe you're in the same boat where you're really having to filter the content that you're consuming right now. Remember, the, the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. And so if that's you, you guys, I just encourage you um, to be thinking about what kind of fruit are you bearing right now? What, what are you allowing your mouth to speak? What are you allowing your, where are you allowing your mind to go, your eyes to see, your, your ears to hear? Um, what content in your life needs to change right now? And this is one of those things, at least for me, if I find content that isn't good, that's taking over part of my life, whether it's anger, frustration, or, or whatever else that I might be influenced by, I know that waiting until tomorrow to change it is never a good idea. And so I'm just going to encourage you, if there's content in your life right now that you need to change, change it now. Don't wait until later because later, honestly, very rarely comes in the way that we think it will. And so if there's something that you need to change, do it right now, you guys. And last thing that I would ask is if you're needing help with anything, um, please reach out to myself or Isaac or Coop or one of your other leaders. Check in with them and see what advice they might give to you or that we might give to you. Because we're, I know that we're screens away, um, but we're still here for you. And we want to help you in whatever way that we possibly can.
you guys, as I said earlier, uh, I miss you guys so much and am excited to get back um, to normal, but so thankful that we have the opportunity to, to do this through the technology that we have. I'm going to pray us out and then I'm going to encourage you uh, to switch over to uh, Cheney Faith Center's Instagram and jump on at 830. There's a live encouragement and I'm just going to encourage you to jump in there. There's great, great prayer time and it, it's a good time. So at 830, if you want to do that through Cheney Faith Center's Instagram page, we'd love for you to do that. So let's go ahead and pray. Um, Lord, we just thank you, Father, so much for um, just the time to get together um, through screens like this, Lord. And um, I just pray that we are filling ourselves with content that is um, that is right, Lord, that is what you have intended for our lives. And um, I just pray that we would be people um, who speak from the heart and that when we speak from the heart, it would be good that it's coming out of that heart, um, Lord. And um, just thank you again for our youth group. Thank you for, again for all of the youth. Thank you for our leaders, Lord. Help us to be safe. Help us to be healthy, Lord. Um, Lord, I pray for our world during this time, Lord, that our world would begin to heal, not only um, physically, but mentally as well, Lord. And uh, you are just such a great God, Father. And we thank you so much for all that you do in our lives. We love you. And it's in your son's holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you want to, 8030, go over and check out uh, Cheney Faith Center's encouragement through Instagram live at 830. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you guys later. Take care. Uh, miss you again. I've said that like 18 times. Can't say that enough. Hope all is well. Peace.